Now, how long does silicon last? First of all, there's a whole lot of caveats for that. How long does silicon last? The first thing is what type of silicon is it? Lots of aquarium, cheap aquarium manufacturers make their um, tank out of cheap silicon. There's V2 and various silicons that are really good to work with, but their tensile strength is not good. So you could make an aquarium like this, make it out of crap silicon, and if you get five years or eight years, then you're going pretty good. On the other hand, if you use the best silicon, such as GE Construction 1200, which was what this one's made out of, there's really no reason why it shouldn't last for 15, 20 years or more. But anything over 10 years is a decent age. 15 years is getting oldish. But I've certainly got customers that have got tanks that, have, that are much older than that. But particularly with the older tanks, it is really important. If you did move it, then you've got to expect problems. Because a tank like this, it's perfectly settled. And then if you moved it to another environment, even if you think it's dead flat, any discrepancies at all, there's just no given that brittle old silicon. So therefore moving old tanks is super risky. So that's something you need to be aware of. You could give the inside a bit of a reseal, which would help it a little bit, but moving old tanks is a very, very risky thing. If you leave the old tank exactly where it is, it will tend to last a lot longer. The other thing is how level the base is. If it's in very level base, then it will last for way longer because silicon has an amazing strength like that, but it has terrible strength like this. Just like if there's a glass lid, it's got some silicon on it. If you try to get it off that way, it is impossible. You'll never get it off. But if you try to get it off that way, it's actually quite easy. So if your base is not completely level, and therefore there's a bit of turn in it, then the silicon can give way much quicker if your base is not completely strong, flat and level. The next thing that makes a massive impact on the, long, the length is the way that your glass was prepped. So if the person building the aquarium um, is a bit of a rusher and not pedantic, and he just puts the silicon on the glass and he doesn't prep the glass properly, then the silicon will not last as long. If there's any finger marks, the oils in the finger marks in the join can be a problem. If there's a hair, if there's dust, if there's anything in the, fin in the join, then that will really affect the life of the silicon. Whereas if he um, prepares it properly, uses preps like ESP, preps it all up, make sure he doesn't touch the sides, does the silicon seal. The difference in the quality of an aquarium made from a pedantic expert compared to a slap em out cheap operator is absolutely massive in the long run. So at the end of the day, there's a lot of variables for how long an aquarium should last. A high quality aquarium like this made with good quality glass um, 20 years, I'd say, is a good lifespan. But if you're not moving it, there's really no reason why it couldn't last longer. So put a little note on the bottom of this video and let us know how long any aquarium that you've had lasts and what you think happened to it. What's the oldest tank that you have experienced?